Okay, this is part two, making labels. In part one, we imported our barcode from BioTrack to a PDF, and then snipped it and saved it as a ping right here, capture. Um, now we're going to drop it into our printing template. So you go down to the Chrome browser, okay? And then up at the top, we have over here on the far left, this, this tab. You click on that and it's going to bring up this um, saved page called Online Labels and it should say select a template, Maestro Label Designer and you're going to launch template, boom, okay. It's going to bring this up. It should automatically have login and password information. If not, you can call me, I have that. Just press login. Uh, choose a template to get started. There should only be one in there called test 1A. Let's use that. And that's gonna bring up a pre-designed template. So what you're gonna need to do is to swap out this barcode and this text. So to swap out the text, you're gonna double click it and it's really small and hard to read. So you can copy and paste it from a notepad if that's easier to work or you could select it all here. It's all at four point font. So maybe if you moved it up to like 10 point font just to see everything, then you could go in and change manually. For example, you're gonna change your batch number you're going to change your product, you know, your date, test results, store, UBI, date of harvest, and then this uh, warning. And then select it all again once you've changed it to the appropriate label you're making. And you're going to go up and bring it back down to four, okay, and press continue. So that'll change this here. And then for the barcode, what you're going to do is you're going to delete this here, boom, and then you're going to go up to here where it says add images. Now you're going to click up here, add images, and it's going to have this screen, you're gonna say upload new image, and OneDrive documents, that's where we're saving everything from now on and capture 616 PNG file, not the barcode. So the PNG file, not the PDF. And it should bring that up. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Select that and add image to design. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you notice, it's pretty big up here. So we can resize it by going into this corner, grabbing it, bringing it down to size, <clears throat> and basically, I'm trying to get it sized to where it's just about the same size as the text and pretty close to the text. So I don't want it down here or off to the corner. It might not land right in our printing area. So let's get it right about there. That looks good. And you can press save. Or maybe in this case, let's do save as. And this was test 1A. Here you could go 616, for example. Or, in this case, we can just go save. Um, and then we're going to print. So you're going to print, print preview, and um, it's gonna bring up this box, say open print preview. Boom, there it is. Upper right hand side, you have your print icon. Click on that. Brings up the print box. Now make sure that the printer we're using is this Hewlett Packard um, Color Laser Jet Pro. Should be default set to that, but just in case you got that one. And then Coming around to our printer, make sure it's on, of course. You're gonna put it in the tray here and grab the label. Now you're gonna load it, label or shiny side up. 
into the tray. Okay, come here and we're going to print. Okay, let's see what happens. Should print. This is the exciting part of the video. There it goes. Did everything right. You have your labels, as you can see, they landed right in the middle, and uh, there you go.